Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. It's your host, Richard. And I'm Emily. Stay tuned for weather, sports, more DECA, and other things. But first, a message with our College Connection coach. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Ms. Gandler, College Connection coach, and I'm very happy to be back. I've been at my other schools these last few weeks doing their testing, but I'll be here Monday through Wednesday working on your Accuplacer testing. Now, today we're going to be talking about Purdue University, the West Lafayette campus, my alma mater. So click on the link below for more. For more information on the video, check the link below. Now for now, the weather with Alyssa. Thanks, Richard. Today for weather, it'll be a high of 82 and a low of 66. It is currently 59 degrees, and around lunchtime, it'll be 71. After school, it'll warm up to 80 degrees. That's all for weather for today. Now back to Emily in the studio. Thanks, Alyssa. For lunch today, lines one and two, buffalo or Asian bites. Line three, soup and salad bar. Line four, popcorn, shrimp. And line five, Wild Mike's pizza. Now, sports with Scarlet. Thanks, Richard. For sports today, the volleyball team traveled to Southwood on Saturday for a long day of competition. The team dropped matches to Muncie Central, Southwood, and Kokomo, but finished strong against Marion, winning 25-3 and 25-12. For cross country results, the boys team finished second place in the championship meet by only four points to Crawfordsville, while the girls placed fourth. Payne Debris added her name to the top 20 for the first time, 20th with a 23-03. Theo Hernandez won the individual championship. Michael Cora returned to action in his first race this season to also be first team all sack with a sixth place finish in a time of 17-54. The girls team finished in the top half of the Sagamore Conference with 1st through 4th place teams, only separated by 20 points. Karina Alaniz was our lone 1st team all-sack runner in 10th place. Both teams compete in the sectional next week at Tippecanoe Amphitheater, hosted by Harrison. Both teams have a great shot to moving to regionals. Good job, dogs. Boys soccer that was scheduled for today is canceled. Also, remember that there is a wrestling call-out after school tomorrow if you're interested. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio with Emily. Thanks to Scarlett, there will be a Battle of the Books call-out meeting this Friday at 7.45 a.m. in the library. Ms. Willoughby will reveal this year's book and discuss how to sign up your team. There will be a call-out for musical crew. It will be this Tuesday right after school in the theater. Any questions? See Mr. Taylor. For DECA today, congratulations to Benito Lopez for leading Frankfurt DECA in week four of the DECA stock market game. DECA cookies offer fresh baked cookies daily. Customers may purchase chocolate chip, M&M, sugar, and chocolate brownie cookies packages for $1. Any customer who desires forum cookies are encouraged to stop by the DECA cookie carts. DECA Fall Leadership Conference is coming up. It will be held at Bankers Life Field House on October 29th. Your conference money and permission slip are due this Thursday. The DECA conference includes t-shirts and a ticket to the Pacers versus Trailblazers game. Any questions? Please see an officer or Miss Bishop. There will be a county-wide prescription drug take back on Saturday, October 6th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. They will be taken on used or expired pills at the FHS parking lot. No liquid prescriptions. That's all for HGTV. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for news. Have a great day. <laughs>